5 with Memorial Day coming up, we are reminded about the sacrifice so many Americans have made in the name of freedom. In Long Beach, they have a memorial wall honoring fallen Americans. Eyewitness News reporter Colleen Sullivan tells us construction on the new wall is nearing completion. One by one, granite slabs bearing the names of service members killed since September 11th are being put up at Rosie the Riveter Park in Long Beach. The names of 6,864 soldiers, airmen, marines, sailors, and the SEALs, SEALs that have paid the ultimate sacrifice, their names are going on that wall behind us. Laura Herzog wears a picture of 21-year-old Justin Swanson every day. The Marine died in combat on November 10, 2009. Laura says that day she made a promise to military families. One of the things that the families say all the time is they just don't want society, the public, the community to forget their family sacrifice. And I've always said to them, I will do whatever I can as long as I'm living on this earth to ensure that their family sacrifice is not forgotten. Laura started the nonprofit Honoring Our Fallen and has raised $25,000 to fund the memorial. This wall, it's, it's an honor because it means even after so long, people still care and for Laura to, you know, make the effort to honor our fathers, mine alongside many others, their sacrifice, it's, it's heartwarming to know that people still care. As each granite slab is perfectly placed on the memorial wall, Laura knows she is close to fulfilling her promise. To watch it come to fruition is, um, it's really emotional for me. Laura says more funding is needed and has set up a GoFundMe page to help. Charles Keating IV is the last name to be engraved on the memorial. The 31-year-old Navy SEAL died in a gun battle with ISIS militants earlier this month. The wall will be revealed on Memorial Day. Colleen Sullivan, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Certainly never forget. Absolutely. Uh, we're here for Memorial Day. Uh, we're going to look ahead to that. And